This is Clayton Park with the Daytona Beach News Journal. I'm here with Kelly Riggle of uh, Realty Pros. Pros. Uh, and we're in front of a, a house that was underwater um, during the recession and even up until recently. And But now that it's no longer underwater because of rising property values, it's now on the market for um, uh, more than what the, the buyer originally bought it for. Can you tell us about this? The yes, she purchased the home in December 2004 and she paid $230,000 for it. It was a second home for her. She wanted to sell at one point, but when she was upside down in value, she ended up renting the home. Now the values have come up. She is able to, re we plan on listing the home for $249,000 now that she can actually get out from underneath that. So during the, the, the worst of the recession, it fell to as low as what? In our opinion, it was around the lower 100s, maybe 130 is what we both felt was an accurate right. And, and is this Number. kind of an indicative of a trend? Are you seeing more of this happening um, throughout our area? We are seeing more successful sellers now. Um, over the past couple of years, I have worked with deals where sellers have had to bring money to the table to close because they were upside down in their value. And they did that to save their credit rather than performing a, a short sale. So now you're seeing fewer under homes that are underwater on the I am place. seeing fewer, yes. All right, mm -hmm. and, and what's your outlook? Do you think it's gonna continue this way? We feel it's going to continue this way, and we're looking forward to a successful 2017. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.